Hello, hello, hello. Come on in. Join us tonight. Yeah. Oh. For the live. My mics. We have a special guest <laughs> tonight, and that's Mr. Tell oh. everybody, say hello. Hello. <laughs> you you ready to go to church? Hi, Dad. You go to church? All right. Wait. Okay, we'll sit down. Yeah. All right. Well, welcome again, everybody, to our live, to our home. And tonight is a special night because I am so excited and glad to invite everybody to come out to our first annual Resurrection Revival. Yeah. Uh, it is revival time mm -hmm. uh, this year. And it's something unique and something special um, that we've never done before here in EFVM. Uh, but it was through a uh, proudful consultation with the Lord. Uh, it was something that I had actually spoken to my wife about shortly after our conference in February. I said, well, baby, the Lord really has been impressing on me and putting on my heart to um, let's get ready to to launch out a soul campaign. Amen. And uh, so God had put that in my, okay. God had put that in my spirit. And uh, uh, it was amazing that I received a confirmation from one of our officials overseer, Alphonia Sanford. Mm -hmm. And uh, he said that the Lord had uh, wakened him uh, one morning in his prayer, uh, at his prayer time, and the Lord was dealing with him about uh, sowing a resurrection seed. And, uh, you know, I, I know uh, that any time you want to see a great and mighty move from God, you have to, okay, man, you have to be ready to sacrifice. And uh, so, that's what I am uh, glad to, to say is that wow. it's because of our sacrifice that we expect and we know that God is going to be saving. God is going to be healing. I want you to get the sick. I want you to get those that are uh, mentally bound, the oppressed, the depressed, uh, whatever your situation is. I want you to be prepared to come out and be a part of this uh, resurrection uh, revival. Amen. And uh, listen, I got a special, special surprise. We're gonna be making sure we do giveaways each night mm -hmm. for the person that brings the most visitors. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, so I had one of the people on my uh, evangelistic team uh, come to me and, and say, well, Pastor, I think it would be great if we uh, do something to inspire uh, the saints to, to to go out and bring people to uh, come to the revival. That's right. And so that's that's what we're going to do. And each night we're going to have special uh, 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 giveaways and special stuff for all of the uh, visitors. Each night we're going to be uh, having uh, refreshments for them. Mm. And so we're going to be doing, you know, uh, things uh, for those that are visiting our, uh, our church for the first time because you know that we are the house where love is Lord. That's right. And so being that that is our uh, uh, designation and that's what God led me when I became a uh, senior pastor Hi, to make it our Hi. motto that we want to brand EFVM as the house where love is Lord. No matter what the the previous uh, uh, designation, the way people may have uh, felt like they were fearful and they were afraid, but we know that perfect love cast out all fear. That's right. Amen. So that's the, re the reason why we want to uh, I encourage everybody to come out and be a part. 
We're going to have special giveaways uh, each night. That's the 27th through the 29th, 27th, 28th, 29th of this month. That's the weekend coming up to Fifth Sunday Fellowship. So, yeah, we want you to go out, spread the news, spread the word. You should see the flyer uh, uh, all over uh, uh, Instagram, even on our Facebook page. We have... Uh, the flyers all out. We're going to have some even uh, to give out uh, this Sunday at church. So we just want you to get excited about this season of the year. This is the greatest season of the year for the people of God. We celebrated just last Sunday. Right. Rebirth, new beginning, the resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Right. So yes, it is the season. This is the time to revive, to uh, go out and let the world know that Jesus Christ is alive and well. This is the reason for the season for us to go out, reach the lost, and let a dying world know that Jesus is still alive. That's right. And, you know, I, I want to add this also. Glad to see some of you on um, watching with us, uh, uh, Pastor Ernestine Kennedy and uh Sister Kim, Terry, glad to have you all on with us. But, you know, honey, I was thinking about even with you talking about this season and a resurrection revival. Apostle and I was having a conversation because Palm Sunday. Listen, if you have not had the opportunity to get his sermon or you was not in attendance, uh, Palm Sunday and Resurrection Sunday. And Apostle was drilling the fact that Jesus did what he said. Right. And and I told him, I said, baby, I said, you know, that's that's powerful. Yeah. Because you think about how many of you all have had people tell you they're gonna do something and they didn't do it. They don't do it. Ooh, I, I look, I, I have to admit, I have been guilty of saying that I'm gonna do something and I didn't do it. So not that, and sometimes you know it's it's you say you're gonna do it, you have intentions of doing it, but Life happens, you get busy, you forget, things happen, and, you, and things just don't work out the way you had hoped that they would. Come on in, I see some more, hey, Cunny, y'all coming on in, Joan Perry. But yes, that happens. But when he was saying that, I said, now, what if Jesus didn't do what he said? Right. Have y'all ever thought about that? If Jesus did not do what he said he was going to do. If he didn't do it. If he didn't do it, where? <laughs> where would we be? So when Apostle is talking about the Lord laid on his heart to do this resurrection revival, I don't know about you, but listen, there is a lot of turmoil and chaos in this world today. I mean, we were just at the dinner table earlier tonight, and we were having a conversation, and they was talking about uh, when uh, the the what what's the the um, Dalai uh, Dalai Lama Dalai Lama I have a hard time saying that word but the Dalai Lama even when he was on live in a live audience and was urging a child y'all saw us with the little baby right here a child telling him a grown man the Dalai Lama telling the grown uh, uh, telling the little child to suck his tongue. Come on, y'all. If Jesus ain't soon to return, <laughs> y'all better recognize that he is at the door. And we cannot continue to sit still and act like everything is okay because this world is not getting any better. Things are happening. I'm talking about this all. Somebody else, so we was also talking about them talking about legalizing pedophilia. Who in their right mind would want to legalize pedophilia? So we have to do what we have to do as a body of Christ, as people who believe that Jesus died for our sins and that he was resurrected so that we could have the opportunity to live a grace life. We cannot sit back and let others not hear about and know about the goodness of Jesus. It's our mandate right. to continue to spread the gospel. So listen, mark your calendars. I know it's an impromptu thing, but somebody told me, God, you can't put God on no schedule. 
Yes, we do itineraries. We plan out what we're going to do. But you have to be open to whenever the spirit of the Lord comes in and he switches things up. We have to be ready to move with the spirit of God. So I just want to say that to you because, again, we, we can't always plan things sometimes you just have to move with the spirit Your phone just, came off. just like the spirit we have to be ready to switch up and change so that we can <clears throat> do what we have to do to spread the good news of jesus christ yeah i want i want to let everybody know hey i am totally unapologetic when it comes down to uh launching out and doing something of, of this uh, nature, yes. uh, because uh, as a senior pastor, I I rather obey God than disappoint you. That's right. Ooh. You know, I I rather do what God said. Because either way it go, somebody ain't gonna you know uh, uh, like it. Why we gotta do it? Right? Because it's what God told me to do. Yeah, it's what God led me to do, and it's in season in for season. where we're at at this time. That's I mean, right. it, it's to me. Uh, high time <clears throat> that we go forth even the more, even greater. We've been talking about even in our uh, 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 elders council about going out, reaching more souls. That's right. Thank God for Overseer Shirley, Shirley Benson. Benson. That's yeah, right. She she made a, a great <laughs> yeah a great gesture yeah. of of sowing into all of the ministers that were want to coming into our week of Pentecost mm -hmm. uh, that put on a, a a prove it drive. That's right to prove what it is that God said, which is is tying right in to what it is that God led me to start off this year as the year of perfecting our faith. Mm. And what greater way than, than to, to obey what God said? God said, prove me now here with, yes, and right. see if I will not open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing yeah. that you won't have room enough to receive. And listen, that's what I challenge you to do. Mm -hmm. Coming into this resurrection revival, prove God. Prove it. Go and get those that are sick, Go and get those that are having uh, issues with uh, diverse types of diseases or, right. or, or, or issues with spirits or whatever it is. I want you to know that God is going to be pouring out his spirit without measure yes. during this revival. Yes. And listen, every night, mm -hmm. every night is going to be special. That's Every right. night is going to be a night of supernatural outpour. Mm. So you don't want to forget. You don't want to miss one night. One night. Hallelujah. I feel something already going Thank on. You, God is doing something this month. For this month is out. Mm. I just feel God shifting. Yes. I feel a manifestation. Ooh, I receive it. Hallelujah. I receive it. A yes. manifestation going on. Yeah. This month, God is, is using this month, the month of April. Mm. To revive, to yes. start over. Somebody's yes. having problems in their house, with their family, with their spouse. Yes. Mm. And God said, trust me. Prove me yes. this month and see if you trust me, if you step out on faith, see if I won't turn your uh, family situation around. That's right. Fe see if I won't fix your financial situation. Yes. See if I won't give you peace in your mind, Ooh, joy peace. in your soul. Come on, Hallelujah. Yes. God is up to Thank something. You, God is up to something great. Yes. God is up to a new thing. Will we not receive it? Will we not manifest it? And know that it is because of him. It's because of Jesus that we have a right to peace, love, and happiness in the Holy Ghost. That's right. And honey, not only when they come, they they need to come with expectation. Right. If you grab hold to what the senior pastor is saying, don't just come, let me see what they're doing. No. You come with a spirit of expectation. God, I know you got something for me. I don't know what, but right. I'm coming. And when you come expecting right. to receive something, you, you're going to get just what you come expecting. Listen, I think about so many times, and I was sharing, I think, one time with the congregation. How, how many of you all know you ain't got no money in the bank, and then you still go to the ATM machine? 
If you know you ain't got no money in the bank, you ain't going to the ATM machine. But if you know, you say, now nah, I believe I got some. I'm going to the, to the ATM machine. Because you are going with the expectation that you're going to leave the ATM machine with more money than you drove there with. That's how we have to be about God. Right. When we come to his house, listen, wow. don't take it for granted. It's so many people wow. laid down last night and didn't get up this morning. It's so wow. many people left for work today wow. and didn't make it home this afternoon. Glory to God. And that's why we have to continue to be thankful for the day that God gave us. I told my husband the other day I was riding and it was a beautiful day. I say every day, not some days. Not the rainy days, not the sunny days, but every day is a gift from God. It's up to you how you use it. But every day that he allows you to open your eyes right. to breathe his air that none of us paid for, that's a gift. And we have to continue to be thankful and appreciative and make the best out of the gift that God has given us. Y'all better hear me and uh, recognize hallelujah. and be ready yes. for the resurrection revival, honey. I'm ready. Listen, listen. I am employing all of Albany, all my Albany saints, all the Albany yes. members to get out, take the uh, flyers, take the notices out, and go and let your friends, your neighbors, your work uh uh, people on your job know that hey this is the first resurrection revival our church has ever had and it's going to be outstanding it's yes. going to be great that's right and i'm doing this because yes this is something that i'm i'm pressing for all been and listen my main thrust mm. be honest with you i yes. want young folk yeah i young want people. those that Come are on. 25 and younger i want you to go and 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 compel them let yeah. them know hey we got something better than than the marijuana we got something better than the pills we got something better than the alcohol yeah. we got something that's gonna get you high and keep you high mm -hmm. yeah because every everybody's looking for a, a stress release that's right. you know and the best stress relief is jesus christ amen and i want you to understand that this one doesn't come with a hangover doesn't mm. cost you anything no, you. <laughs> but just an open heart and a, a mind to receive. Yes. I'm telling you, this is going to be a, 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 a breaking, a, a chain breaking revival. And it's going to be something that you, you will never, Thank you, never Jesus. expected. And you'll never receive anything like this revival again. That's right. Because I know what God told me, what God put in my mm. spirit. So again, I want to encourage you to go out, spread the word. Listen, let everybody know that this is going to be a great move of God. That's right. April 27th and 29th. 28th and 29th. 7 o'clock p.m. We're going to be giving special, listen, special surprise to the person each night that brings the most visitors. The person each night that brings the most visitors. So, all Benny, I'm, I'm, I'm challenging you. This is something that we're doing right here in the in the headquarters at the cathedral. Yeah. And I'm challenging my Albany folk to go out and invite your friends, your your family members. Amen. That's that's the best way to do it. That's it. Get your whole family. That's right. Get them grandkids, get them children out. They get out and go and do other things. Amen. So get them out with you and bring them on. Bring them to church. Yeah, I promise you, they'll be glad that they came. Uh -huh. And uh, listen, we're going to allow God to have his way. We're going to start promptly at 7 o'clock p.m. Amen. And uh, unless the Lord say so, I don't yeah. plan to hold you all night because we know it don't take God all night to do anything. Amen. Uh, but we, we plan on having a good time and, and, and praising God, lifting up yeah. his name and letting the Lord have his way. Yeah, wear your shower shoes. Don't right. come too cute. Don't come too cute. Expectation. That's right. Come uh, on. Uh, either wear something that you can kick off. Yeah. <laughs> got them J. Renee's on. Wear them kind that got the strap that you can knock off and get your praise on. Uh -huh. Get your dance and your shout uh -huh. on. Uh, uh -huh. We are planning to having a hot time in the Lord. So 
Remember that? That's the, the, the last weekend of the month coming up the fifth Sunday. Yeah. We coming up to the fifth Sunday fellowship the Thank way the you, Lord God. had me to do it. Yeah. Mm. 27th, 28th, and 29th. Uh, uh, like I said, we want to invite you to come out, invite your friends, invite your loved ones. We're going to be doing a special giveaway each night to the person that brings the most visitors. Mm -hmm. And then we're also going to have uh, refreshments after service mm -hmm. for all of our visitors. Fellowship. The fellowship, okay. right. Okay. We want to have something for them uh, as well as a little little information Shout packet. Shoot. We're going to have yes, something for them. <laughs> To, uh, to take back with them yes. so they can know about what God is doing at ELVM. And I'm proud of what God has done right here on the corner of Slappy and Lippy. 1506 South Slappy right. I am saying that I know that Albany, it has been Georgia. a great price that was paid for what God did in our house, in yes. our ministry. And this church has stood the test of time. The cathedral is here for a reason because we are a church for all people, all races, creeds, nationalities. I don't care if you are homosexual, bisexual, uh, whatever sexual you are. Come to Christ. Amen. Give God your heart. Give God Amen. your life. Yeah. And we're going to love on you. I can promise you that. Amen. We'll no wise cast you out because God loves you. Jesus died for you. He yeah. rose again for you. Yeah. So this is what I'm all about. This is why this church is the house where love is Lord. Amen. So God bless you now. We love you. And we're going to pray before we leave because we want you to go for and we want you to have faith, believe God, and praise him in advance yes. for what he is doing. He's Thank adding. You, he's adding Thank you, Lord. to the church yes, sir. as should be added Thank you, daily. Lord. Father God, in the precious name of Jesus, we come before your own tonight, Lord, thanking you in advance for the overflow. Thank you, Lord God, for pouring out your spirit without measure upon your people. And Lord God, we pray for those that may be sick and shut in. We pray for those, Lord God, that may be oppressed, depressed, bound by diverse spirits, of, of drug addiction, alcoholism, homosexuality, yes. whatever it may be, thank Lord God. You, we thank you for deliverance. Thank Hallelujah, you. Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Jesus, because you, you died, but you got up. Hallelujah. You rose again with all power yes. in, your hand. in your hand. And because you rose, we can rise. Yes, because you live, Lord Jesus, yes, Jesus. we have a right to live. Thank live a life of victory yes, live a life of being an overcomer yes sir. and lord god help us now to go forth and spread the good news help us to invite others to yes. come into the ark of safety yes before it's everlasting too late yes sir. and father god will forever be careful yes to give you lord all of the praise all of the glory all of the honor yes sir. because what you're doing is truly marvelous in our eyes yes, Lord. and father god will forever bless you we thank you for healing yes. delivering setting free thank you. and lord god we pray even now for those that may be in a situation where they are not prospering yes, the way they should thank you father. but lord god we know that you are Lord of the harvest. Yes, Jesus. And we thank you even thank you. for prosperity. Yes, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. And Lord God, we'll forever be careful to again thank you, praise you, and glorify thank you. For it is so. Yes. In Jesus' matchless Jesus name. name. Amen. Amen. Amen and thank amen. You, Lord. All right. Well, God bless you again. We love you. We're looking forward to a great move of God. Spread Amen. the word. Spread the word. Watch for it on IG and, and uh, Facebook, Facebook mm -hmm. YouTube. We're going to be putting the flyers out. We're going to have flyers again at church to give out. If y'all want to go ahead and get them, take them, let them, let people know that, hey, we're going to be looking for a great outpouring of God's spirit. Amen. And we'll be looking to see you there. Thank you. Lord. God bless you God and we bless love you. you. Good night. We love you. All right, Brother JT, Sister Rosetta, Tasha, Veronica, all of you that's on Marcus, glad to see you all tuned in. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. We love you. <laughs>